Thank you, Deputy Presiding Officer. Ferguson Marine has no funding beyond completing Halls 801 and 802. The Scottish Government has not invested in capital to improve the yard according to the benchmarking report set out by First Marine International. The Scottish Government has not established a fund to fund builders' refund guarantees, which is necessary to win export orders. And unless the Scottish Government awards Ferguson Marine the Small Vessel Replacement Programme, the yard will fail. So, on all those scores, will the uh, Deputy First Minister agree to implement actions against all of those points as a basis for a new commercial shipbuilding strategy for Scotland? Cabinet Secretary. I, I think there's a, 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 again, there's a lot in what Mr Sweeney says. I hope he takes some comfort from my answers to Katie Clark and Neil Bibby, because I'm committed to a long-term agenda for Ferguson and taking the necessary steps to ensure that that can be realised. Some of what, um, you know, there's a number of elements in what Mr Sweeney put to me, which are really detailed and complex propositions, which have to be worked through very carefully. But I do give him the assurance the Government is committed to such a process. And Edward May.